Hey guys, and welcome back to another test server review with Stupendous. Go ahead and pause the video here if you'd like to take a look at these, because I'm going to make them go away right now. So, first taking a look at the heavy prototype. So, they decrease the projectile damage to 2400, but they increase the rounds per clip to 50 rounds. And they also increase the unload time to 20 seconds, uh, still a 10 second reload time. That ends up working out to 120,000 damage per clip, which is more than we saw before. Um, but they decrease the DPS, so it's 4,000 DPS now, or damage per second. Still, nothing in the info thing here, and obviously the model still looks like a trident. And here it is with its damage per second compared to uh, the mullet and the mullet T, which are, you know, what it's supposed to be like, and then uh, next to other things too. So, taking a look at some gameplay on a Carnage here. So, my count, like I said, is, is 50 rounds per clip. Um, with it here and still my favorite setup with it is on the carnage because of the maneuverability of it and you see how few bullets are are hitting me from the guy over there uh, they, they decrease the accuracy of the weapon um, which means that they increase the bullet spread um, that's that's something they've done to uh, the other firearms and stuff like that uh, multiple times so you see that I wasn't I wasn't able to take out that fury even with a full clip and Technically, that should be 240,000 damage, um, and we weren't able to to finish finish him off with that first clip. So um, they they decrease the accuracy of the weapon, um, at, at least in my opinion. That, that's what it's looking like from my testing, and this isn't the only clip that I reviewed, but uh, one of the few that I'll show you on this weapon. So I think that was definitely very needed. So that 4,000 DPS um, becomes a very different number um, when you consider. Those, these other minor tweaks that they made to it. So it's not really 4,000 DPS if you, if like for example that Fury couldn't hit me almost at all. Um, it, it definitely changes it, I think down to where it needs to be because 4,000 DPS is still quite high for something like this, but um, with that with the abnormally high damage, um, I, I think it ends up working out really well for long range, uh, making all those little tweaks that they made. It makes it a little bit more um, of a usable and more balanced weapon this way. So I think they're definitely getting close as far as what they need to be with this. It seems like they're going to be adding a longer range <laughs> weapon. I don't think they're going to change their minds and do a shorter range one um, in replacement of this one. So something else I tested, I wanted to make, I wanted to see if it did the increased damage to physical shields. Um, so the damage on the left there is what it should be doing. Um, however, according to my count here on this Galahad, um, it took 25 shots to do so um, from my Carnage, which is how much it should have taken with no shield multiplier. So I think they may have uh, gotten rid of it because it already has abnormally high damage. So and here's a look at uh, here's a look at the regular firearm. So this is uh, Gareth set up with uh, Punishers. So this is a setup I've talked to you guys about using before as a shield breaker. And you see how much damage I'm able to do uh, through him. Um, we're already draining him quite a bit. Um, but then we're also dealing tons of damage to his shield. So you see that one of them already has been taken out and the other ones uh, must be very close. And we would have been able to probably totally take this guy out if it wasn't for this uh, for the second uh, Lancelot that came up that had splash damage. Um, but I'm really excited for the firearms update. Uh, I, I feel like it's very needed and um, something that'll really help the game out as far as uh, adding a little bit extra flavor into especially higher level play where typically you just see a lot of magnums, tyrans, uh, orkins, and pinatas and then you'll you know get your random whatever for uh, for bots running support type weapons um, but let me know what you guys think are you guys looking forward at all to the to the firearms updates I'm I'm pretty stoked about it uh, like I said I think it'll add a very uh, very good and needed dimension to uh, to higher level play especially so um, if you are looking forward to it let me know uh, what you guys are thinking of using are you going to use punishers are you going to use mullets let me know um, and they also added in the in the last test server and it's back for this one um, they added the multiplier to the thunders so if you think about it in five shots the a max out thunder is doing like 81,000 damage I think it is or something like that um and so if you multiply that by 2.6, that's quite a bit. 
So taking a look at the new squat system, I know this is probably what most of you are looking forward to. Um, a lot of the qualms that we've had or a lot of the problems that a lot of us have had with the new squat system are taken care of in this update. I actually couldn't find anything to complain about with the squat system. Um, you guys will have to let me know what you think, but honestly, I think they I think they ticked all the check boxes on it already, which is really cool to see um, because that means they're really listening to feedback from people. And so you can see here, you can see um, if someone has rejected your invitation and you can you can get rid of somebody here. So uh, if, for example, your teammate or one of your clan mates had to go like change out his hanger or they didn't get to accept the first invitation, um, you can go, you can just remove them from the list and resend right away instead of waiting for that like minute or minute and a half timer that you had to wait for before. And you see here as a member of the squad, not the leader, you can see who else has joined or who has been sent an invitation and you can also still check their profiles, which is something a lot of people have wanted. And here you can see that you can still chat while you're waiting for matchmaking, which is a great, uh, just a cool little addition. And then after the battle, you're still part of the squad. You can still chat here and pretty cool additions. Anyways, thanks, thanks for checking out the video guys. Uh, drop a comment below, let me know uh, what you thought about the test server and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.